Hi boys and girls, today we're gonna to be making some overlapping candy cane art. And for this project, you're gonna need paper, a pencil, a Sharpie or something black to outline with, and then some colored pencils or crayons, something that you can shade with. So I'm gonna start by sketching out my candy canes. I wanna to try to fill up my page. So I'm gonna kind of draw in a really large hook line that's shaped like a candy cane, then wrap around the edges and follow the exact same line. Don't stay parallel all the way around and kind of finish out that shape. Now, when I draw my other candy canes, I wanna make sure that I go around my first candy cane to make sure that it looks like they are overlapping, that one candy cane is in front of the other. Now, I could draw over it and then erase out as well. Either way would work. And as I draw in my candy canes, I'm gonna make some of them go off the page. I'm gonna call that cropping, just to make it a little more interesting. And it also helps me kind of fill up the page better because there's only so many full candy canes that I can fit on my page. So as I'm drawing, I'm kind of planning out how to fill my space. And if I have some edges or corners like here where I don't have enough room to draw a whole candy cane, but it definitely needs something there, I can just draw the end of a candy cane or the top of a candy cane to fill up that area. And I notice I am drawing nice and big. I don't want to make anything too small. Now, once I've kind of filled my space, I'm going to go through and trace. Now, I'm using a Sharpie, but you don't have to. You could use a regular black marker. You could use a pen. You could use a black crayon or a black pencil. If you do use a pencil or crayon, you might want to wait till the end to outline, since we are going to be doing some shading and those things can kind of smudge and smear. After I go through an outline, I wanna make sure that I kind of erase out any pencil lines that are still showing, kind of clean up before I color. If I color over those pencil lines, I may not be, get, be able to get rid of them later. Now, each candy cane is going to need at least two colors, although you could use as many as you like. But I'll start with the simplest pattern, which would be two colors. And if you are using two colors, you can start with one of them to draw your stripes. If you're using more than two, you'll need to kind of plan out your pattern first so that um, you can sketch in your stripes before you start. All right, so I'm starting with two colors. Um, and I'm gonna use the first one to sketch out my stripes. So I wanna start with diagonal lines, but as I wrap around the top of my candy cane, my lines are gonna kind of curve, um, eventually being you know, vertical here and then horizontal, and then diagonal again. So it looks like they've kind of wrapped around the candy cane. I don't wanna put them too close together because that will create a lot of extra work for me. Once I've drawn in my lines, I'm gonna go through and add some shading. Now I want my candy cane to look three-dimensional. Um, so I'm gonna start on the edges here, on the, the sides where I have my black Sharpie lines with a dark value. And value is the lightness or darkness of a color. And we can create dark values with pencils and crayons by just pushing harder. So I've got my dark value. Now I'm going to add a medium value. I want to kind of overlap my two values so they blend a little bit. And finally, I'm going to add a light value. And I'm not going to let my light value quite touch in the middle. I'm going to leave a little stripe of white in the center to create the illusion that my candy cane is shiny. So not only will these, uh, will the shading make it look 3D, but also shiny. So I'm gonna start again, and my, I skipped over one section because that will be a different color. If you're doing more than two colors, you may skip multiple sections. And now I'm adding my dark, medium, and 
light values. Again, leaving a little white space between my light values to add that shine. I'm going to keep repeating this step on every other section until I get to the end of my candy cane. Dark, medium, and light. Now, if you don't blend your, your three values, kind of overlap them where they touch and blend them a little bit, uh, they may not look, your candy canes may not look 3D. So you want to make sure that you're kind of blending where they touch, that you don't just have a dark stripe, a medium stripe, and a light stripe. And one way that I'm doing that is by kind of coloring um, back and forth from the edge to the center. So I'm not coloring vertically like this to make a straight line. I'm coloring horizontally so that I, I have kind of a an uneven edge here. And that helps my three values blend better. So I would continue with this first color essentially all the way down to the end, but I'm gonna stop there and add in my, my second color so that you can see what that would look like. So my second color is going to be the exact same steps, um, but one thing I wanna watch out for is make sure that my values are matching up. So I wanna make sure that my dark value, even though this dark value is blue and this dark value is red, I wanna make sure that they match where, they, where they're placed. So now I'm adding in my medium values and my light value. And the reason I want to match up my values is so that when I'm finished, this light stripe matches up and that that's a continuous line, that shiny line all the way through. So now all I've got to do is go back through with my second color, repeating those exact same steps, adding my dark, medium, and light values, keeping my highlight centered and even and go all the way through and finish my candy cane.